come on, man. So here's the deal. The last time I did a video about Afghanistan, it was on August 26th. I remember that day. It was first, my birthday. Second, this is when Biden and his administration had 13 of our own killed. This brain dead puppet shows up to receive these 13, meet their families, and all this guy did was check his watch. What in the world is he checking his watch about? Does he have somewhere to go, a date? What is going on there? And Jill, you should be ashamed of yourself. You're right next to him, you see this going on, slap his hand, slap him, I don't care who he is. What's he even wearing a watch for? He's got people who tell him what time it is and to grab him by the hand and walk him to the next place. He's got nowhere to go during that time. Nowhere, nothing to think about. Everybody in the world would understand. God. And then this Harris, what is it with her? She thinks that the world wants her over in Singapore and Vietnam. They don't want her. Then she goes to Hawaii and she's vacationing. During this traumatic time, then Harris stops to smell the flowers in Singapore. She's got no time for that. And who the hell is she to be stopping to smell the flowers when well, we've got 13 people that were killed? Get your ass back in Washington. Pretend that you're working at least. And even still, since then, where have you been? Not that we need you, but at least pretend. What you're doing is trying to save your own political career by distancing yourself from that stupid brain dead puppet. You wanna know something? This isn't about you, you cackling, laughing hyena. This is about the world and about America and those soldiers. What about their families? Get your butt back in the game. This reminds me of Maverick when he bailed out on Iceman. You never leave your wingman. He got back in the game and took care of what needs to be taken care of. Then you got Kirby, this stupid jerk. He talks about how they disabled all the equipment. Tell me, what was this that we saw on the streets parading around? The soldiers, the Taliban, they were out there in Americans' uniforms. And what are these black hawks flying around? Oh, those were really disabled. Boy, you really equipped them, didn't you? They even use it to get into the last stronghold in Afghanistan. Now you've got six airplanes sitting on the tarmac waiting to get out and the State Department won't let them out. They blame it on the Taliban. Screw you. You know, you all need to get in the game. How many times does Biden need to go to Delaware? It's been 17 times in six months. You got no right to be taking time off for Labor Day, giving people sandwiches, hugging little kids. Get in the ball game. Go back to Afghanistan with every single troop that you can provide, take over and take control. You even sent this stupid Millie and Lloyd back over to Keita. What the heck are they going to do over there? Diplomatic relations. With the Taliban? Oh, I see. So now we negotiate with terrorists. You call them insurgents? No, they're not. They're terrorists. Get in the game or get the hell out of the office. We want you out anyways.